It has all come down to this after months and months of grueling competition. The eyes are on the prize in the Sunshine State. Tonight we crown our first ever World Finals High Jump Champion. And then 24 of the biggest superstars in the world compete for immortality in the record books as they chase the holy grail of our sport, the World Finals Freestyle Championship. Extreme air high jumps and everything you can want and more. It's Orlando World Finals 20. This is Monster Jam. We didn't waste any time making history at World Finals 20. Earlier tonight, it was the first ever high jump competition. And Tom Minson, Max D. Fire got us off to a great start getting on the hood. And the roof of Max D. Fire, seventh place for him. Jim Kohler rocking that brand new Avenger body. He finished in 643.475 feet for Jim Kohler and Avenger. No stranger to extreme air and high jumps. We move on to his team screen teammate, Corey Rummel and Megalodon Fire, who won the 2019 Monster Jam Extreme Air Award. And he's gonna get fifth place. Scott Buto in El Toro Loco, a freestyle legend. An incredible Sky Wheelie ending up on the side of El Toro Loco Ice standing in fourth. Todd LaDuke in Monster Energy was a heavy favorite in this competition coming in. He's gonna get a podium spot and finish in third with a great save. A little too early for freestyle, but he's gonna come in that third spot. And then in second place, right above him, Camden Murphy making his World Finals main field debut. An incredible jump and extreme air. He takes second place. And here is our World Finals high jump champion, Cynthia Gautier. An incredible sky wheelie ends up on the side and saves it in Monster Mutt Dalmatian. So history was made tonight as Cynthia Gautier in Monster Mutt Dalmatian takes the World Finals championship. Here is your field of eight. Rosalie Raymer and Wildflower had mechanical issues, was not able to compete, but Cynthia Gautier so excited and Leslie caught up with our world champion. Here is our field of trucks for Monster Jam Freestyle. It is the World Finals Championship. It is the biggest prize in our sport. The field is made up of seven series champions, 16 drivers in on at-large bids, and then our showdown winner, Lindsey Reed in Scooby-Doo. So 24 superstars, each with two minutes to make a name for themselves in this sport or add on to what could be an already incredible amount of championships. Tom Mance, of course, comes in tonight with 12 World Finals championships leading the pack, but they are all here. It's the best of the best for Monster Jam Freestyle at World Finals 20. And he won a Wolf on his freestyle championship while crewing with Ryan Anderson now trying to make it happen as a driver. You know, one thing he's doing here, he has great transitions. I talked about that before. You got to go point A to point B, hit the ramp as quick as possible. And there's a big air right there for Brandon. Amazing jump. That's what it's going to take. You got to put a few of those together. He gets a little wonky on the landing, but sticks it and now gets back up over the freestyle path. So Brandon Vincent trying to make it happen. Now going to go across the other side of the track. He is in his first ever World Finals freestyle event, and this is what a way to make a debut for Brandon Vincent. He's such a great fit for a grave digger. You know, in 2011, he was Adam Anderson's crew chief. I was on tour with him when I drove Iron Man. Here it is again. Look at the big air he's getting off of these things. Brandon Vincent now gets that tire caught oh. underneath Grave Digger. Oh. See, that would have been the wow factor right there if he could have pulled it off, the tire broke off. Yeah, take a look at some of his jumps. He had some good sky wheelies and some big air. That 7.237, that is the score that will set the pace here at Freestyle. X Factor, what is it going to take for Lindsay Reed? It looks like she's about to send it off the Freestyle ramp. There it there. is. That's that some what I'm talking air. about. Get the truck settled down a little bit. Good job, Lindsay. That's what it's going to take. You got to do a little more of that. Oh, Here she goes with a backflip. That's the backflip we're talking about. Settle it. Get along force, put it in reverse, and keep on going. Off the container ramp, you don't see that on the Arena Championship Series, but you do see that in Monster Jam World Finals. Anything goes when it comes to winning that World Championship. I think that was her first backflip ever. That was pinpoint on target. Lizzie's got to pick it up right now and throw in the wild factor. There's a bicycle off the freestyle pad. Didn't get a lot of extension, but she's able to get it, and she is going to turn around and send it again. Here comes Scooby-Doo off that first jump. I and love that. There. there it is, there it comes. A cartwheel save for Lindsay there Reed. There it is, that's the wall factor right there. Let's see what the fans have to say about this uh, run. And there's one of our sky wheelies up onto that pad. Here is the container backflip for Lindsay Reed, the first one she's done at a stadium. And there is that incredible wow. jump 
onto the freestyle pad, and there is the cartwheel save for Lindsey Reed, 9.371. That is your new score to beat. Uh, Bari is a little more calm and collective. You can see that with this run. I'm hoping here he can throw something down here and give us a wild factor. And Bari Musauer lining up for that monster energy backflip. There is his wife watching, oh. and he can't get enough power in there. Ends up on the roof of that zombie fire truck. What went wrong for Bari? Yeah, it just looked like he didn't power into it. You know, he walked up to the ramp, and uh, he kind of stopped for a second and hesitated instead of powering and driving through the ramp. So a 6.013, that's gonna put him in third. Not the score he wanted. Yeah, you know, that's the one kind of hits I don't like. I don't like coming down hard on the front end. That's hard on him. And he does it twice again, but he's able to save it as well. Gets a little bicycle there off that stopper ramp in the middle of the track. And here comes Gray Diggers Morgan Gain, a friend of the show, one of my broadcasting partners. Big but air. not tonight, as he gets a great jump oh. off the ramp, and that front right tire is not going to cooperate. That is gonna cut his run short. And Scott, it looked like he was on to something beautiful in freestyle. And another nice save for Brianna Mahan, and she is starting to put it on and turn this thing on for this Orlando crowd, this whiplash truck. She is going to run it ragged into the crowd if that's what it takes to get off that ramp with a sky wheelie and another a save. save. You know, she's cross-running like crazy, which is awesome. It's something that some of the other drivers haven't done yet before her, so she's doing something a little bit different than the rest of the drivers before her. And she is all over the track going every single direction, but it doesn't matter if you save it and look at that tire that tire in the rear right. not gonna hang on just seems to be coming off the truck yeah this might end her run for her sky you know it's uh she was starting off really good but that's what happens when you start driving on the ragged edge and start cross-threading things like this go wrong in the truck and i think this is gonna sit her down here pretty soon and there is a nice sky wheelie he ends up on the back trying to get it on four wheels and on the hood oh, again for Bryce Kenny, so twice he was in that just dead as a duck phase and gets it back. And one of the great members of Mohawk Nation to Orlando, Ali, a cancer survivor, is out there battling it and he is cheering on Bryce. And I know how much it means to him to have Ali in the crowd tonight in Orlando. No doubt, what an inspiration, what a great story you just told there, Scott. Now Bryce Kenny trying to make something else happen, had a great save, that front body of Mohawk Warrior just not even Peel there apart. anymore. The Mohawk is still flapping around in the wind, and he is going to attempt the Monster Energy backflip ramp. He comes in strong, oh. and he lands it on the back and gets on the roof of the Mohawk Warrior. You know, that was all momentum. You know, he came at uh, the corner a little hot. He kept the momentum going strong into the back ramp. He just had a little too much energy, a little too much momentum, and it kind of over-rotated. So in his debut weekend here at World Finals in the main field, he's had some great moments, made it to the racing semifinals last night, podiumed in the high jump, and there is Lindsey oh. Reed and her family looking at Camden Look at Murphy. Scott. Hit the backflip into the moonwalk. She has to watch this happen. The fans are on their feet. They are going and that's a great move for Bakugan Dragonoid. And that's the wild factor we talked about. Not only did he backflip, he pulled it into a wild factor stoppy, reverse moonwalk into that thing. That's taken from the arena things, a little bit of like Ryan Anderson does with the moonwalk too. So this is a great run for Cam Murphy. Um, I, I think he might be the a leader after this run. Yeah, he came off the, the ramp sideways, cross oh. that jump, and he just messed the front end wow. completely. Off the truck, the wheels, Scott, are upside down. I have never seen a Monster Champ truck <laughs> with the wheels upside down. That is maximum destruction right there, man. That's something that you'd see from a men's truck. But look at the score, 9.250. So that oh. backflip and the moonwalk, not enough. Oh. Our leader is still Lindsey Reed. Two trying to get traction, so I, mean, I don't even know if Ryan's even going to attempt one right now. He's got to attempt something, and he's got to attempt it fast. There's another wheelie for Son of a Digger. So he is doing it in this mod. You see the turns getting tougher as he drifts towards the Monster Energy backflip ramp. Now back on the far side of the track, another good jump. Gets some big air, clearing the pad once again. And here he comes. Oh, oh the wheel on the back. That right rear tire oh just comes my. clear off the truck. And that is going to do it. I'm not sure that was enough for the fans to give him the championship. Wow, Scott. Ninth, 8.337 for Ryan Anderson. So there it is. We have a brand new Monster Jam World Finals Freestyle Champion. And she has made history tonight. There is the moment she finds out a beautiful
beautiful moment for Jared, Lindsay, Dakota, her entire team. She makes history now as the first showdown winner to win freestyle in the same weekend. Only the second female driver to ever win Monster Jam freestyle. A life-changing win for Lindsay Reed in Scooby-Doo. Here are your final point standings. Camden Murphy, Brianna Mahan are going to complete the podium, finishing second and third. But what a great field and some great runs in this freestyle show here in Orlando. Lindsay, you cement yourself in Monster Jam World Finals history, not only as the first female showdown winner, but as the second female to win Monster Jam World Finals free dial. What was it like the whole time that you were watching all these big guns come out and try to shoot you down out there? You know what, I just wanted to go out there. Like I said, I wanted to make history for the first time in Orlando, just really throwing it down for the females. And you know, we did a solid run and my heart was pounding every single time I saw one of them go out there. They are so awesome, they did great runs, but you know what, we did it, we pulled it off. Where are my Scooby fans at? Let me hear you! Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.